<laughs> I think the first thing to point out about this airplane is it's made out of wood and not foam. Don't know if you were listening, this is made out of wood, not foam. Guys, this is the brand new, kinda new, ultra stick 60 inch wingspan. It's a very tall, very wide wingspan airplane. So this plane does exist as a kit. You can buy it and build it yourself, but now it is here as a plug and play option, which means all the hard stuff like gluing hinges was done for me. I did have to assemble it, but it was not bad at all. I've done a kit or two in the past and this probably saved me about eight to 12 hours. All the electronics come with this too. Now you can buy this with or without the electronics, but guys, we're gonna be flying on a 6S setup on this Balsa plane. Man, I'm excited. I think we're gonna have some fun. I do have a Spectrum setup in here, as it says on the tail of the airplane, and it's worth noting that all these decals that you're seeing on the airplane are completely optional. I put them on because it's what the box looks like, and I think it looks pretty slick. But if you don't but like I'm them, no, it's a ultra stick. No. Oh. Slick. <laughs> Good though. Uh, if you don't like the decals, however, they're just stickers. You can leave them off and put your RC Sailor stickers on instead if you like. Let's fly. Ooh, that rudder authority. We got some wind today too, which makes me a little nervous. Um, things to point out, <laughs> it's linked in the description box below. You buy it through our link, you help support our channel and our family. And I've gotten word that these are on the big boat coming to the Horizon Warehouse in like two and a half, three weeks, they'll be shipping. So that's important to know. 6S, 4,000 milliamp to 5,000 milliamp battery. I am just stalling. You ready? <laughs> It's not often that you get this nervous. Fingers crossed. You'll be fine. Here we you go. can do it. Okay, okay. I need a little trim, but that's okay. You're up. I can handle that. Definitely need some up elevator, which... I'm gonna just trim it up here, guys. Needed a little bit of up elevator, which visually on the ground, I thought I was good, but apparently needed a little bit of up. Oh my gosh, that's faster than I thought it was. <laughs> I was not prepared for it to go by that fast. I'm gonna have to fix that on the ground, but for this flight, I think that'll almost do. Almost got it. And a little bit of roll in there. Trimming a maiden Whoa. flight. Yeah, I know, I saw that. That was actually a gust of wind, believe it or mm -hmm. not. <laughs> and that's pretty good. I'm gonna have to hold a touch up in there, but I'm happy. Let's fly! Wow, that Ooh. is, uh, now I'm at full throttle and it'll climb forever. And look at that snap. Oh, that's nice. It's been a while since I've flown balsa. They are a lot more robust in the air than foam. It just feels wow. more solid, okay? So that's- This rolls, oh my I gosh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. look this good. Is, <laughs> this is an ultra stick. That's like solid. It is solid, yeah. There's really no flex and no give when it comes to a plane like this compared to foam. Well, and it like, out of that. Oh my Here gosh. Go. I don't know. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it like didn't even lose altitude though when you were rolling. Right. Like so, it's just like a straight line. Uh, it does wow. it just fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of that. This is, I'm pretty nervous. I'm, I'm shaking at the knees. The adrenaline is like at an all time high, but as it should be, this is a big, beautiful airplane and I'm maiming it. So that's what we do. Scare ourselves to death. That's how we live. <laughs> Um, that was really nice. When I rolled three times, I noticed the striping on the top and bottom of the wing, the variation, uh, which is really good for orientation, right? Let's just go ahead and bring it all the way around. Sorry, Abby, I know that's probably a little hard to film. It. We're up high. Zero throttle, this feels great. Full throttle, it feels awesome. It's not going anywhere either way. Staying on track is what I mean. It's on rails, absolutely on rails. Uh, this thing is very cool. Now, I didn't mention this, but I should. It has flaps. I did not use flaps for takeoff. Um, I didn't need them. I could have taken off much faster, but I, uh, I had a lot of down elevator um, in there, so I had to trim that out. And I'm still having to hold up elevator just a hair, guys, because I don't have AS3X or safe on. I have it on a switch, but I haven't touched it. I don't want to on this flight. So I'm, when I land it, I don't have any more up elevator to trim into this airplane. So I'm actually gonna have to hold 
um, up elevator the whole time I'm flying. All my fault. I could have could have cleaned that up some. I'll snap it. Ready? Ciao. That's a wide snap. It's a big airplane. So this is on a 4,000 milliamp battery. And I will also fly, I think, in today's video, assuming it comes back in one piece, I will fly on a 5,000 milliamp battery too. So we're gonna get two flights in. Here's a full throttle pass. I'm not doing much today on like inverted flight or anything. You know what, we're high up. Let's just hold inverted. Right now. <laughs> it's kind of like a toasting inverted pass, but I'll take it. Uh, nice and easy, nice and calm. <laughs> I'm You're so up there pretty high. nervous. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. I love the yellow. I'm so glad they went with yellow. I like a yellow airplane. We were just talking about that with your E-Flight <laughs> Trojan. Yep. Now, when we hit about five minutes, I'd like you to let me know. I think you're at four. Okay. And we'll probably land it at five and just see where the battery's at and everything. Um, then we'll put that 5,000 milliamp battery in there and I'm going to hopefully fix my uh, trim a little bit. Let's do some rudder. Nice. Very cool airplane. It just sounds different, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Everything about it is different. It's really neat. So what do you guys think about these guys putting together a plug and play system of balsa? Is this like your first success plane? Uh, no, well. Like um, you have jets, but do we have a success plane? Oh, good question. Uh, Especially a top there, wing. That's my low voltage alarm. Yeah, you, you're at five minutes okay, just so about that's now. perfect. Let's try to Let's bring it, it in. in. Yeah, I have telemetry. I should have mentioned that. I've got my smart system in here. Um, really, I need to land left to right today. That's the way the wind is coming in. So okay. let's take care of it that way. I'm just trying to cruise at a lower throttle. That's my low voltage alarm going off, guys. So that doesn't wanna... make you anxious. I don't know oh, what I does. Know. Yeah, I got one <laughs> shot. <laughs> and the wind has shifted. It just this, shifted on us. This is a maiden. Yep. And it's very windy. Yep. I think we can just bring it in like this. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That oh. cross breeze. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, oh my God. Very nasty cross breeze landing. I think that's the worst landing here. <laughs> Came in on one wheel really I don't hard. know how good I got that. That was scary. That, that was nuts. I, I just came to the landing. It came in so close to us, I thought I better just bring it in. Next time I need to bring it in like behind us. Oh wow, my was, gosh, that this wind though. That was a nasty shift in direction with the cross breeze. Let's put the 5,000 milliamp battery in. There's the wind sock. It's pretty pretty gusty today okay 4,000 milliamp battery is about a four and a half to five minute flight on this at least the way I was flying it um, and now I got a 5,000 milliamp battery in here which is recommended both 4,000 or 5,000 milliamp and I'm hoping this is that moment in time when adrenaline and nerves turns into a little bit of confidence but that usually crashes planes so let's not <laughs> say confidence and let's just try to fly you ready yep there we go that's a little better Man, I can feel the wind, even with this bigger airplane. <laughs> it's always, ah, uh, you know, we're pushing it to fly in the wind, but, oh, uh, it's just such an awesome plane. And I'd rather fly a plane with power that can handle it than to struggle fighting the wind. So, you know, it's it's a it's a gamble. It's a gamble when you choose to fly in wind. Let's go rudder wings down. Oh, that was Ooh, that's fancy. Yeah. Is that an actual barrel roll that you did? Hang on, I heard a little, when I mixed in that rudder, I heard a little bit of a rattle. I was just making sure everything is okay. I think we're okay. Uh, the wind is really strong today. Yeah, that was more of a barrel roll rather than a traditional roll. That's Let's cool. listen to a full throttle pass on this. I'll shut up for a second. <laughs> Probably hard to film, sorry for that. It's all right. But uh, I'll go a little farther away and we'll shoot for another full throttle pass. That was low, Nate. Yeah, yeah, it was. Super fun. Trying to hide behind the hill uh, from the wind. Boy, the wind is crazy. I'm just really opening up my flying space now. This is kind of the direction I need to focus on landing the next time. And maybe I should use the flaps to slow me down. That was such a rough landing. Pretty <laughs> embarrassing, but I'm not a pro. I just 
I just enjoy the hobby. So what do you, you know, what do you want me to do? Orientation is so sweet on this. Every time I roll that over, I don't have to worry about which way is my airplane facing. At least so far, it hasn't confused me. The solid black stripes on the bottom really, really are very easy to tell which direction we're going. See, see that? And so none of this has been with any safe switch on. Oh, I lost you. Oh, I just shot up in okay. the air to do a nice wow. big wide loop. That was the first time I've lost you like yeah. in a long time like yeah. that. That's okay. It's, it's a fast. It's a fairly white plane and we got an overcast sky today, so bear yeah. with me. That's a bullet, isn't it? Oh yeah. This thing is fun. Fun. Wow. It's a nice change of pace from foam. So guys, if you crash foam, yeah, 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents worth of hot glue, and you're gonna be back in the air. Balsa takes a little bit more work and knowledge on uh, repairing and getting it back in the air, but it can be done. Uh, this is a much more old school, traditional way of flying, and I love the uh, new technology mixed with the throwback of balsa. It just feels so cool, because this is basically the type of thing my dad flew. He had an ugly stick, he put a black coating on it, and um, that's what he learned to fly his RC planes on. And I know a lot of people out there know what an ugly stick is. This is basically an ugly stick. It's called an ultra stick. It's just a faster, more powerful, uh, better ugly stick. So which way is that wind coming in, Abby? I think we're gonna land it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are <laughs> scary today. Okay, I'm gonna go right to left because that's the way the wind is coming right now. And man, this is fun. All right. Landing. Smooth as silk, Nate. Oh, That's I'm what the try. viewers want to see. Wind is so it is. It's today. crazy. It's I can't shit. even tell you what direction it's coming in because it's changing. And I'll be honest, I'm only out here because this airplane releases tomorrow, which is when you're watching it. I had to get some content on this there thing. You go. Okay, I'll take that. That was better. That was better, 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 better. I can do better. <laughs> I can do better, but it's down in one piece, and that's a landing that's if all I ever matters. saw one. Yeah, I know my landings were a little rough, and Abby and I were discussing that as I was recovering the plane. We both think I came in too fast both times. I think just adrenaline, nerves got in the way and you know i came in too fast for sure i should have checked the stall tendencies of this airplane in the air before i came down to know how slow i could come down and i just those wheels touched down way too fast the first one yeah a mix of a cross breeze really did play into that which is why it hopped down the runway on one wheel and kind of skidded along uh, the other one I had a bit of a bounce and then a lot of lift, even with zero throttle, and that's because I came in too fast. So if you notice yourself skimming along the ground when you're landing, you're probably landing too fast, most likely anyway, just like me. So uh, other than that, man, this was a blast to fly, and I'm really happy with the results overall. I was really nervous to fly this because it's out of the comfort zone, right? Um, I just feel like I've done that a lot in the last couple of years, which is super cool because it's really fun to challenge yourself, get up on top of that hurdle, and then conquer it and put that notch on your belt. This is not just a notch on my belt. This is a plane that I'm going to be proud to own for hopefully a very long time. It's nothing like I have. I do have a lot of foam, and yes, I have some balsa experience in the past. And as a matter of fact, I've built things that took way longer to build than this. Just not very common or very often. The shining appeal to this airplane should be known. We should talk about this. You don't find balsa planes like this that come as ready as this one was. I didn't do any hinges. I basically assembled it like an E-flight plane, like an E-flight foam airplane. And that is what makes it awesome. I don't have to go pick out all the electronics and hope they work. It comes ready. And I think there's a lot of people that will appreciate that. The motor was already installed, it was already mounted. You know, I had to put the prop on and the spinner set up like most airplanes, install the landing gear, main wing, and the tail section. But nothing gave me troubles. It was a very nice, easy build. That wind caught my airplane. <laughs> and uh, I have to say, 60 inch wingspan fit in our mid-size SUV in one piece with one of the back seats down. Well, the back row and then one in the second row. It was very tight, but it fit. Luckily, two thumb screws hold on the main wing and it's just two dowel rods that go into the front section to hold the wing on. And there's a lot of extra 
uh, servo wire that they give you, extension wire in here. So you don't even have to unplug the wing if you don't want to. You can just kind of set it off to the side while plugged in, or you can unplug it. This is a great build experience, if you want to call it that. Some of the guys that build the airplanes from scratch hate me when I say that, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm flying, aren't I? And the flying experience was just awesome. I think you're right, Abby. I think this is my first 6S airplane. Yeah, I have a handful of 6S EDFs, but this, I believe, unless I've forgotten something, is my six, first 6S airplane, and it absolutely is my first 6S Balsa airplane. And man, oh, I'm happy. <laughs> this is fun. Easy to see. Abby, it's a bullet. I hope someday you fly this, but we got to get you. Well, if a... I need a toothpick one day, I'll fly it. That's, yeah, that? right. Well, we can have a lifetime worth of toothpicks <laughs> if, we, if we crash it. You won't crash it, though. I'll get safe set up on a switch working properly, and we'll talk about that in a future video, and maybe that's when you fly it. If you can get the comfort of a 6S EDF under your belt, which is coming very soon, as soon as that Trojan video gets 2,000 likes, you're going to fly a 6S jet. I think the next thing around the corner is this. I feel like that is the next progression step All right. and I am so happy to say that I hit that nail on the head no safe the entire time not not the zero percent did I use safe on this airplane I'm pretty happy about that <laughs> I know I can fly but it's just kind of nice to know I, I did it on a maiden and everything I'm pretty happy uh, guys this is linked in the description box below if you don't like my electronics setup uh, that comes on it you can get your own electronics both versions will be linked down there for pre-order. Uh, the good news is it's not like an eight week pre-order wait time. There is confirmation that they're on the way to the warehouse, two and a half, three weeks of a wait and they'll be shipping. I think that's great. Using the link, as I said at the beginning of the video, helps support our family and our channel. And I'm just coming down off of this adrenaline rush. I'm just laughing about the whole experience because it just wakes you up, you know? <laughs> it's like a good, strong cup of coffee or a gallon of coffee. I mean, that's what I feel like right now. And uh, it's awesome. And so for that just feeling of being alive, just a natural high, just from the fun of a toy, I wanna to thank the big guy upstairs. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because seriously, you guys, you just make me feel like I've got this, you know, spare parts security blanket sitting on me if I do crash, you know, we can buy the parts and put it back in the air if something like that would happen and you help the content keep rolling to the channel. So if you've watched our channel for years for free and you've got an extra five bucks in your pocket and you want to support us, Patreon's a great way to do that and we'll have it linked in the description box below. We have the best support system in the world. I'm not asking for more. I'm super grateful, but if you want to help, that's where it is. It's the best way to help and using our links because it doesn't cost you anything extra. I don't know what to link that's similar to this but I'll figure it out and we'll have an awesome airplane video worth your time popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.